In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content or uh, better or newly called hero things. I will talk about all of them and uh, explain what uh, each look like and what they uh, display. Now if you're wondering why st the name static content or why the uh, the hero scenes well hero scenes are uh, trendy uh, name used in modern uh, web design while static content was the name uh, added uh, for these types of uh, elements back in the previous uh, versions so um, basically this these elements are neither uh, sliders they're neither uh, subheaders they're not uh, sections they're just blocks of different content with uh, uh, nice uh, nice options and nice uh, layouts so moving on in this video I'm going to talk about static content product loop now in case you're wondering what uh, how it looks like just go to hero scenes and product presentation we had to keep the name because uh, of uh, backwards compatibility so basically this is the element it has a text on the left some uh, features right here like a list we have two buttons here with some uh, icons and on to the right we have uh, an image a framed image uh, with a uh, effect of a loop now I will access the uh, I will edit the page with the page builder and I will uh, because I cannot always access the options for this element I will hide the header and go to the options so we have uh, first we have an uh, element height option you can specify the full height of this uh, of this element you can also specify a full screen uh, uh, layout if you want and it will automatically disable the custom height and now, now by full screen uh, you can see the element is already uh, full width so uh, basically it will make it uh, full height according to the window uh, size so just I'll just going to leave it as no uh, this scrolling enable scrolling effect basically this will add um, a custom nice uh, scrolling effect I will just enable you can choose uh, various uh, various uh, effects right here translate means uh, moving on to the uh, y uh, uh, axis fade will mean uh, that it will fade and scale that it will also scale now I'm going to save this to show you and I'm going to publish this and see this page into view mode so as you can see while I'm scrolling the background is uh, scaling and this part right here is translating and I know don't confuse translate with actual language translate is just a CSS property called like that and basically as you can see um, the uh, not sure if I have already in the demo let me just uh, where it is product presentation not sure if it's uh, as you can see here it's not uh, enabled so the content and the uh, image will simply scroll normally scroll while in this example it will stay somehow uh, I don't know it will follow the scroll and fade itself as you can see it stays this point right here stays exactly always in the center yeah so that's about it with the uh, scrolling uh, effect and moving forward you can see here uh, there's this uh, title uh, field in which I've added um, a text with 
a few styles attached. Now what I mean by this is that um, the whole text is uh, wrapped into a font weight thin class which will make the text thin and um, there's another side of the text which is actually uh, styled as font weight semi bold as you can see here this one is a bit bolder bolded so basically you can add uh, any HTML here you can wrap this into spans because spans are inline uh, uh, HTML uh, tags so it won't affect the text at all so you can uh, uh, it, it all depends on your uh, imagination actually so moving forward you can select the featured image onto the right and uh, you can see here there's a recommended size because uh, you also have to keep a proportion and a ratio of the image and also a zoomed version of inside the loop so 1000 by 630 pixels would be a great uh, size or if you have plan it bigger just make sure you keep uh, this uh, I don't know ratio so moving forward uh, the features list uh, as you can see here uh, strangely enough um, if you I'm sure you didn't understand but as you can see here this is actually a list with uh, various features now if you take a closer look you will see that uh, <coughs> uh, the items right here are separated by new lines basically uh, if you want to add a new feature just press enter or return and create a new line and add your custom feature so it should appear right at the bottom normally as you can see here now if you if you choose to have it um, if you want uh, actually let me just do this if you won't respect this new line and just leave it in line it will be considered uh, just a text inside this line as you can see here so don't forget new lines will add the features yeah so moving forward we have a um, button 1 and button 2 in which you can uh, they both have the same options uh, you can specify uh, the icon or the uh, text of the button or the uh, link the title tag and the target of the button you can also change the text between the the two buttons um, you can specify like I said the uh, the uh, style of the button for example now it's a line button but if I change to full color it will automatically be full red as you can see here and pretty much uh, that's it with the the options of uh, the product loop um, element if you uh, well, yeah you're probably going to uh, uh, to ask about the background uh, and style options well yeah here it's uh, just a simple background image but uh, I won't talk about this uh, these options because uh, they're uh, they're very common in the theme so I created a separate video about them and they're very good explained and um, you can watch that video and you'll understand instantly what I mean by uh, these uh, options so don't forget to watch that video too so thanks for watching uh, if you have any any questions feel free to ask me if you have any uh, troubles with the element simply create uh, an account on the support forums and uh, my colleagues will uh, assist you there so thanks for watching again and uh, see you in the next one